from our run and I'm feeling energized more than ever. The cool thing of running is it gets your blood moving through your body and it kind of creates like a little bit of a high. Feeling good, energized, but I'm ready to stretch out after that run. Paraphernalia aside. All right. I have no idea what the sequence is. We are back, we are warm, so we're going to go right to a downward facing dog. The important part here now is to really focus in on your breathing. Tune back into the even inhale and exhale. Start to bring your heartbeat down to a rhythmic pace. You want to pedal the legs out for a minute or two. That's a pretty good idea. You can pause the video and just do that. And we're going to keep moving though, so as we step the feet together, lift the right leg high in the inhale. Bend the right knee, stack the right hip over the left, and a three-legged dog. Now in this one, I love to drop the left heel down towards the mat, press down through the palms, and look back at the left foot. And you get a really sweet stretch through the back of the left leg. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Mm, low lunge, the left knee comes down, reaching arms up overhead. In this one, right, we're going to interlace the hands, press them to the back of the head, lift up and go back, opening up the chest and the arms. We want to get the blood from the fingers back down to the rest of the body because they've been jogging along by your side the whole time. Go ahead and extend the arms up. You're going to hook the thumbs, reach up and back. As you lower the hands on down inside the right foot. We already visited this one before, but you're going to do it again. Right, lift the back heel, looking forward. Maybe you're a little warmer and you want to come on down to your forearms in this one. Importance of keeping the hips level and your gaze straight down. Now, if you are down like me here, you're going to come back up to the hands, turn to the side. And let's go into a runner's lunge. Bending the left knee, you can stay upright as I am, or if you want to go down a little bit lower, the importance is what your spine is doing. So you always want to keep a long spine. Hand can go inside the thigh, rotating externally, but just keep your hand above or below your knee. And let's go into a warrior two. Shift back forward. Position the right heel in line with your left inner arch. Rise on up, warrior two. Go right into a reverse. Inhale. And then into triangle pose. Both legs are straight. You make a triangle with the legs. Reach your right arm forward and the hand can come down. Option of placing a block underneath your right hand, look to the side, or maybe up. It's a nice stretch with the neck. And stretch the hamstrings. Lower your left hand down. Pyramid pose. Hop that back foot in. Inhale to a long spine. Exhale, folding, draping your belly, your belly button over your right thigh. I know for me, I start to walk my hands back, but you may be up here. You may be here, you may be even higher. Use blocks as you need to appropriately to keep this back straight in that rounding. Hands will come back down. Step this left foot back. Right leg high, one more time. Inhale. And lower the right foot down to downward facing dog. Now, if you want to go through a vinyasa with me, that's what I'm going to do. Shift forward to a plank. And in this one, lower all the way down. Lift and up here to a back bend, cobra, or up dog. And then maybe even move the hips a little side to side. Nice little sway. Let's take it back, downward dog, because we get a side two. Left leg lifts, inhale. Bend the left knee, three-legged dog. Drop the right heel down. Mm 
And as you bring the left knee into your nose, stepping through, coming into that low lunge. Arms reach up overhead, position first in your lunge, and then interlace the hands, take it to the back of the head. It's like a nice little hammock. You can pretend that you're in here, lifting up from the chest. Get comfy. <laughs> the arms will reach up overhead, hook the thumbs, pull the arms away, the fingers like they're moving apart from one another. Hands inside the left foot. Coming into that lizard lunge once again. Option A, back knee lifted, you're on the hands. B, you can come on down to the forearms. And find any little movement. And then we can sink into that left hip. And as you rise up to the fingertips, I'm going to turn to the right. Long spine, any variation you did on the first side. Right, so the left inner hip probably all along the hamstring. For most of the runners in my classes, this one needs no introduction. We are going to make our way up warrior two, shift back forward. Warrior two rising on up. Strong through the legs, reverse, inhale. Stay for another breath. And then for a triangle, both legs straighten. Left arm reaching forward, take the hand down to where it goes. I'm gonna go down to the floor, but feel free to elevate. And then as we move into our pyramid on the other side, the right hand comes down and hop that back foot in. The toes pointed towards the front right corner of the mat. Inhale to a long spine, folding forward, exhale. And then we're switching this side up. So as you look forward, you're going to step the right foot up. Feet are separated, inner hip distance. Inhale to a long spine. And exhale, folding. Rise on up to standing. Shift the weight over towards your right foot. You're going to bend the left knee. Once again, take a quad stretch. Remember, the left knee tracks down. Maybe the right hand comes behind, grabbing the wrist. If you have a lot of flexibility in this quad, you can also wrap the toes up and then grab for the wrist. It's little fancy points. <laughs> All right, release that. Hands will come towards the waist. Bring the left knee in towards you. And you're going to cross the left ankle over the right knee, now stretching the outer left hip. Bend the right knee, drop the hips down. Hands can stay at the waist or interlace the hands at the small of the back. Inhale, lift on up. And then rising. We will now switch sides, lower the left foot down, show the quad stretch on the right leg, bending the right knee, staying just as is, or wrap the foot up. I'm going to do a nice little toe crack there. <laughs> the left hand comes behind, you can grab the right wrist. Noticing too the importance of keeping the belly pulling in, not overarching in the spine. And let's go for that hip stretch. Cross the right ankle over the left knee. And the more you bend into this left knee, obviously the more you're going to feel it in your right hip. So how low you go is up to you and your hip. Importance of keeping this right foot flexed so your knees are protected. Right, they're doing enough work out there. It's a little different on this side. Lift back up on the inhale, release the hands. You're going to step your right foot back. Palms plant, left leg lifts high, inhale, three-legged dog. And you're going to bring your left shin down into a, a pigeon pose. The left knee towards your wrist. Settle 
as far as you can down or elevate using a bolster or a block underneath your left hip. But as you have this right thigh wrapping down towards the mat, either stay upright or fold halfway forward, coming out to the forearms, or if you want to fold all the way down, that one's up to you. Most importantly, that you're feeling sensation and a stretch in your outer left hip and nada in the knees. Now this one, we can stay here for a long time. <laughs> but you get the drill. Hands come on down, press up and back. Three-legged dog, lift that left leg up. And we are gonna switch sides, so now lifting the right leg, inhale. Three-legged dog, coming onto your right shin for pigeon pose, setting up on this side. So you can notice on this side too that I have this front foot pointed because it's closer towards my left hip. If you have more flexibility, bless you, you can bring your shin closer forward to be parallel and then you're gonna flex your foot. Okay, notice that your left thigh needs to be wrapped down or take your foot in a little bit closer. Stay upright or come on down to the forearms and keeping that right knee safe and pain free. I'm doing simple stretches like this after running. I've noticed, even in the short amount of time that I've been running, what a difference it makes in the recovery time. And so even taking these 15 minutes to recover from the physical activity that you've been doing can make a huge difference. Every little bit adds up. I'm going to come back up, sweep this left leg out in front, and arms out in front, lower, lower, lower onto the back. Now I give you options if you want to do bridge or if you want to go into wheel. All right, bridge, you start out bending the knees, arms by your side, press and lift on up. And you can either stay here or take the arms by your side, fingertips face in, to press and lift on up to wheel. In either posture and the importance that your chest is pressing back, I love this one to open the entire front side of the body. And you're gonna ease your way down all the way. It was not great. Once you come on down from your back bend, we're gonna rock our way up to seated. I'm gonna come over to the side and actually face you. Take the soles of the feet together, coming to Padakanasana, long spine inhale. Exhale to fold. Maybe the elbows to the inner thighs. And then inhale, rise on up. As the legs extend out in front, bend your right knee. You can cross the foot over if you want, taking a spinal twist. This left elbow can hook over the knee with the arm up or just hug your right knee as you twist. Back to center, counter twist over to the left, and then we switch sides. And then counter twist over to the right. The nice thing of this one is I also get a little bit of a hip stretch as I'm doing this. Come on back up. Now that gives a good general overview for decompressing your body after a run. I've found with a lot of the hip and hamstring stretches that it's really helped the recovery time after running so that I can head out the next day if I want to get out there and take another run. For more yoga, fitness, wellness, and travel tips, head to livefreewarrior.com. Subscribe below on YouTube and stay tuned for a weekly episode here.